Hey, this is the shack the dentist built and I'm here with Craig and today we are going to show you how to replace your floor and put a tile floor down here. We're going to remove the uh, toilet, we're going to tear up some of the flooring and then we're going to put tile on top of that. So this is going to be a nice project. Here we go. So here's our old vanity and uh, it's uh, quite a beast. They kind of built it into the wall. It was kind of built in place. It wasn't like a pre-assembled vanity. So first you want to remove all the plumbing fixtures and uh, just get those out of there. Make sure the water valves are all turned off. Turn them to the right, nice and tight. Make sure those are shut off. Then get to pounding. So you want a good sledgehammer. You might want to use a box knife if there's uh, caulk up against the wall like that. It keeps it from uh, maybe ripping off some of the extra paint. And so we just have a little sledgehammer, so this was quite a project. Um, as you can see, the, the vanity, we couldn't get it unattached from the wall, so we had to just smash it into pieces. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to do that. Uh, hopefully you're more fortunate and it is a, a freestanding vanity that you can just easily remove. So as you can see, there was wood built right up under the wall we had to get out. So between the hammer and the sledgehammer, the, the mini sledge, and uh, maybe a few kicks with the foot, we were able to finally get it pretty much removed. Craig here, my buddy Craig, here's, here's Craig, yeah with the funny hat on and the funny gloves on. He's gonna take the toilet part, so the first thing we're gonna do is turn off the water. Okay, once it's off, flush the toilet. That'll let you know if it's off or not. Let me get real tight. So what we're doing here is we're getting all the water out of there, as much as we possibly can. Yeah, take the top off, put the top in the tub. Yeah, I don't hear anything coming in there, do we? Okay. And I'll flush it again. Flush it again. Let's get rid of all that water, as much as we possibly can. Okay. Put that put that in the bathtub there. And put it to one side, yes, yeah, so it's out of the way. I better lay it down. Now what we need to do is we need to get a uh, plunger. You have a plunger and, 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 a, and a nice rag. Okay, so the first thing we need is, is the rags. And the rags we're going to use to get all this water out of here. Okay. Much water as we get out of there, the better. Whoa, look at that. Yes, it's ugly. But that's just kind of uh, from years of accumulation of sort of a rust type stuff from from your water, whatever it is. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to plunge this and get as much water out of there as we possibly can. The less water we have, the better. Oh, this is a great plunger. Look at this great plunger. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. It's from like a cheap store. Oh, oh my. We're going to plunge Hold it as we can. That one's usually done by hand. You don't need to tighten that with a a wrench. Okay, so all right. So now what we've got is we're taking off the uh, the toilet stuff, and we'll just leave that just sitting there. Okay. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to take off the, the, the toilet bolts, and we're going to need uh, channel locks for those. Now, Craig, I want you to notice where your head is. Your head is right down by the toilet. Isn't that great? Ooh, that'll make a man out of you. Okay. <laughs> So Craig's taking that uh, toilet bolt off of there. I'm afraid it's going to strip out. And then a lovely lady I know put caulk on it. I don't know what to hide it. All right, we're taking that toilet bolt off there. Right tidy, lefty, loose. <laughs> All right, because uh, the toilet bolts are just spinning, and sometimes they're just made that way underneath, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it off. I'm going to use my little cut-off saw, cut underneath the bolt. All right, so we cut those bolts off with the cut-off saw. Now Craig here is going to lift up the toilet, keeping it as level as possible. Level as possible. Because if you tip it, possibly you may 
spill some stuff and you're going to carry it outside the house and put it on the front lawn. Trying to keep stuff, just make sure you're trying to, okay, there, just flip, take that baby and flip it right on top of that paper towel. Stick it. Take as much of that gunk off there as you can. Isn't it just fun? Now this is really where it gets fun. Oh yeah, it just breaks apart. Let's get the big stuff first. Take those toilet bolts out of there too. See, they'll just they'll just slide out of the side. These? Mm -hmm. Give it a hit. Whack. Give it a whack. There you go. Okay. okay. Stuff that rag back in there. Oh, let me get. I was gonna get. This. Okay. Get as much as you can out of there. So your toilet bowl thingy is plenty high. That's not a problem. Okay. So that's in a good position. So it doesn't matter what we do with the floor. Yeah, it, it's going to be just fine. Okay. We good. could actually build it up from there and it'd be fine. Oh, okay. Because awesome. a lot of them are just flush with the floor. There's more on this side here. You want to take? Okay. 